it's always a chaotic day as well <laughs> and uh, it's always a day when you're a bit tired yeah. we played in Bergen in Norway yesterday night and uh, we went to the airport at four o'clock in the morning so we actually didn't sleep anything yeah uh, and I think I might have slept uh, 20 minutes on the bus from uh, from the airport into into Camden and uh, yeah. after that it's been waiting 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 so it's a glamorous rock star life yeah <laughs> the funny thing is that uh, for the first time I'm in England actually and I went to visit Camden and I really loved it, so yeah, after a bit stressed and been like a bit exhausted, I feel like we're still on energy for going on yeah. the stage. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, different, uh, uh, lots of different things. Um, uh, I guess uh, first and foremost, uh, the band uh, lost uh, Vibeke, who used to be the, the female singer. and. Uh, wanted to use some time to find in the right, uh, the right uh, replacement yeah. uh, and according to Anos the most important thing for Tristania was to find somebody that was not a bleak copy of Vibeke was something different that could bring something new into the music and when they eventually found uh, Mariangela they found me yeah somewhere. they found her in, uh, <laughs> in uh, the woods somewhere no. <laughs> nice <laughs> um, Eventually found um, <laughs> Maria Angela. I think also a band needs uh, to adjust to new members. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it wasn't you weren't the only one. Yeah. Actually, the thing is, um, of course, it takes time, and uh, they had to know me. They had to get to know many things about how to, yeah, which direction take with me. Because anyway, I was totally different from Rebecca. And uh, during during this last three years it, it just it hasn't been just me changing something in the band because mm. we had Ula as bass player, <coughs> we had Kiri as a new guitarist player, we had uh, Chetil. So many things changed and uh, the process uh, took, I mean it takes a long time because of uh, getting to know each other, getting to the, 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 the common taste, getting to, uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's fair that we spent three years to get to know each other and try to do the best for making new songs and try to give the songs an identity yeah. that is actually in the new Tristania. And I think it, it would say releasing an album just a few months after you joined would, would probably be a, like a premature album. Yeah. Uh, would not be so uh, uh, mature at all. Yeah. And I think that's the main. Uh, I think that's the best thing about Rubicon is that it's a really mature album. I think. It's already like it's not a safe album, but it's, it's an album that represents Tristania 2010 very well. The yeah. new version. Yeah. It represents the, the all the personalities in the band in a way that we are confident to be what we are in in music. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, the story is an Italian story. That's okay. uh, the funny thing because uh, it, it, it reminds an episode for uh, Julius uh, Julio Cesare. Okay. Is it Italian? Julius Cesare. Yeah. When he crossed the Rubicon, he was supposed to uh, cross the line for. Um, I mean, he crossed the line for uh, an uh, like. Uh, how can I say in English? Uh, a break, an okay. agreement. Yeah. Uh, so all behind that that's the meaning of uh, yeah go over the line cross the border lines and not uh, there's no point of return after the return so it's like you have to move on so every situation in the songs is described like hard moments hard times and yeah. uh, in different contexts in different uh, situations but all they mean the same it's like you get into a point that you have to find the strength yourself to move on I, I actually didn't know uh, the guys, but uh, I had always uh, the wish to. Uh, I've been always very confident in the way that I, I felt that I had um, uh, that music was what I wanted to, to yeah. do. So when I had the opportunity to ask Tristania if I could join them, yeah. that's um, really we showed a lot of professional uh, professionalities. Like uh, we uh, we not chatted, but we, we shared files yeah. to taste to test if I was 
yeah. actually Compatible. the proper singer, yeah. yeah. And then they just gave me an answer and they told me just come here for an audition and I just came here for an audition. I tried out on tracks. Yeah. It has been it took a bit, like three months or something before they everything set yeah. Yeah, yeah there, there were I like, think there were a few hundred uh, people uh, oh, right. uh, requesting. Yeah. 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 Cool. And um, were you singing before or is it like Yeah. Yeah, of course. You you were into singing and stuff. Yeah, I'm al I've always been into singing since I was twelve. Oh, okay. but awesome. for some reasons I kept singing in my room for quite <laughs> a while, and then I joined the first band when I was twenty, so quite yeah. late, and it was blues band because I, I actually have a background as blues band. Blues, okay. I'm a blues singer. So after that, uh, I tried out with a metal band just because they asked me to join a metal band. But since I saw them very into it, very devoted, they really wanted to go somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and then I said, okay, I never played metal before, but let's try it. Let's try. And it worked. So I started to uh, join the metal scene to get yeah. to know the metal scene better and better and better. <coughs> so it was kind of easy afterward to choose some band from the metal scene since I knew a lot yeah. of people already. So. It's been uh, really, really good. Uh, obviously, it's been also divided. Yeah. It seems like some people think they have to choose between the old and the new Tristania. Yeah. And then some would always uh, choose uh, the new and some would choose the old. The old uh, yeah. I don't really see the reason why that, uh, myself personally. But, uh, but generally, it's been really, really good. And we're happy. F uh, it seems also that um, reviewers that give the album a little bit of time, they tend to like it better okay. uh, because I think the album has uh, has lots of layers yeah. with music and meaning and both uh, musically and, and ly lyrically I guess and with harmonies and with uh, different like instrumental also so I think it's uh, it's an album that needs to to uh, to grow on you yeah. uh, to, to to release its potential uh, and I don't know, uh, I wouldn't say that all the people who doesn't like the album have, have only heard it once, but uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's been it's been mixed, but it's been uh, mostly really good. Mostly uh, really good. Yeah, and we're happy for, for that. Uh, it seems like people that listen to the album as a piece of, piece of music, yeah. piece of art, they, uh, with an open mind also, not not uh, the ones who have to <laughs> have to be, decide between old and new. Yeah. Um, they, we seem, we seem to have been able to communicate the album with them and we are really happy for that. That's cool. Different artists, uh, but I catch uh, from them everything that is to me is interesting. For example, I can drive from uh, Diamanda Galas, I love her, yeah. then I go up to Skin and then I can go to Nika Costa. Or, yeah. And so different artists and bands. I love rock progressive, yeah. uh, Mars Volta, Porcupine Tree, uh, Colleen and Cambria, and uh, I also love metal. And uh, for example, I am big fan of uh, no fun. No, <laughs> I, I love. I like it a lot. I like uh, uh, David Townsend. Yeah. Um, the different bands, uh, and uh, I can also yeah. I love blues. Robin Ford. I love. Different things, so mm. cool. I guess that's the way with most of the people in the band. Tarl, the drummer, he's mostly into 80s metal, yeah, 80s <laughs> rock. Uh, <laughs> oh, he, he's gonna kick our asses now. Uh, and Guri is also really into into heavy stuff. Yeah, she likes kind of um, yeah the, the the time of Alice in Chains and uh, yeah Pantera and all that kind. Of, yeah, it's a very diverse Trish. background. Very everyone. diverse, and also for me, uh, uh, before I. Started singing in uh, Green Carnation and Trail of Tears. So I used yeah. to be an opera singer, mm. uh, and uh, during my late no, during my early twenties, I was uh, I was an opera singer. Uh, <laughs> I actually had a That's few awesome. solo roles in some some regional opera uh, operas in in, in, in Norway, awesome. which was uh, really cool. Yeah. Uh, but I had to choose between opera and, and uh, something else, and I thought that for me it was. Much more interesting to create new music than recreate old music. Yeah. So that was my primary reason for for choosing yeah. choosing to be in a, in bands. Yeah. Uh, 
But I don't know what's wrong with me. From every year I get older, I seem to like harder music every year. So now this <laughs> getting last angry and grumpy. Yeah, it seems like, yeah, yeah. It's a midlife crisis coming up or something. Yeah, but I have this crisis too. I've been an opera singer many times so all my drankness, so it's yeah. fine. So the last few years I've been listening to like uh, Converge and. Uh, yeah. And Shining, the Norwegian Shining, the black jazz yeah. band. Mm -hmm. which is Shining is amazing. amazing. I saw them live once. Yeah. It was really good. So I'm just so fascinated by these bands that can be like totally 100% uh, no compromise at all. They yeah. just do their stuff 110%. <laughs> and uh, although I do like uh, singer songwriters and blah blah blah, but uh, I think the main reason, reason why I like them is that they do their thing 100%. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that's a good thing. That's cool. Musically, I think uh, the songs are uh, more catchy. Okay. Yeah. I think we we have uh, more catchy choruses. We yeah. Have more catchy uh, vocal harmonies. Direct. Uh, yeah, yeah. More direct. Yeah. And I think that's the maybe the most uh, uh, the visible like, yeah, differences. The, yeah, I think so. Um, of course, there are other people playing on this record, so it's always going to sound different. But, yeah. but I think, uh, uh, yeah, what I just said is is probably the the, the main difference. The main differences. Um, it's always very hard to look on a, on on our own albums and to to say what's different because because what was natural for us in two thousand and six and seven or five or four. Can feel the same as what's natural for us in 2007 and, and 10. Yeah. But it might for other people sound different. Yeah. But I think it's with bands and individuals developing all the time. Uh, yeah. I think it's easier to to hear that from the outside. So it's like a continuous evolution sort of thing. Just yeah, it is. But I, I I do appreciate. That. I understand that. Of course, when uh, me and Mary are the main singers. Yeah. Two different singers from the last album. It, it is going to sound different. Yeah. But yeah. we are also trying to keep the. the Tristania tradition uh, going. Uh, there are still two of the main songwriters in the band from the very start are still in the band. So, so everybody is saying that everything is new, but that's not completely true. It's just yeah. that we brought into new new elements also. I think. Yeah. Mm. According to the old ones. Today, as on the first date of the European leg of the of the, of the Rubicon tour, yep. we're not completely sure. Uh, what we do know is that we are as enthusiastic and as um, hungry as ever. Uh, probably that's also because there are a few new members, a few new members in the band. Yeah, uh, I think it's working out really well live. It sounds really good live. I think. Um, and we want to do a successful Rubicon tour first, and then uh, I think we have to show, like, other parts of the world that this is a band to count on in 2010. Yeah. Uh, we have talked about we really want to go back to South America. Yep. That's always been good for Tristania, and we really, really want to go on one or two tours in the U.S. Uh, but that's not up to us to decide. Somebody yeah. has to to invite yes. us, and yeah, uh, yeah you know. <laughs> So we're eager and ready to play uh, live uh, because that was one of the big uh, griefs I think for for Annos and uh, um, the other guys in the band after Vibeke left. They weren't really able to tour after the Elimination album. There was no yeah. touring, so that right. album didn't really uh, get the potential out. I think so. We really want to get the potential out of the Rubicon album, and Obviously. you can only do that by playing live. Playing live. Yeah. We love you all. We do. We do. It's it's like for us who's new in the band. It's it's a it's an honor to be on the road with Tristania and yeah. to meet all these lo loyal fans. It's been uh, we warmed up for this uh, this European leg of the tour by uh, by playing seven shows in Norway. Okay. And the feedback has been amazing. Yeah. And it's so good That's to true. it's yeah. So it works out well tonight, which I'm quite certain it will. Yeah. Uh, we're thinking of doing. Like territories for four four days. You know, okay. For example, Benelux and yeah. UK and Ireland could be a territory as well. So, if everything goes well, we hopefully see you again soon. Awesome. Yeah. Cool.
Thank you for um, doing the interview and Jeez. spreading the time. Cheers. No problem Thanks. at all.